everybody. We're glad you joined us today. This is Lillian, and you know who I am. And we're sitting in the children's garden, and we just want to share something very special with you for Easter week. On the first day of the festival of the unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, Go to the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. The evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say, him, say to him, one after the other, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. Son of man, to go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't need me, Rabbi. Jesus answered, You have said to me. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it with you, when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went up to the Mount of Olives. When I think of Passover, as Lillian just read, uh, one of the things I think about is the movie The Ten Commandments when a couple months ago our Sunday school class was talking about Moses and the plagues and things like that so I got the movie The Ten Commandments and showed them different things and one of those special effects that I really love is when the angel of death comes into town and it's all green and but it skips over all of the believers hopes that's the Passover the kids really get it and uh that is a reason to celebrate. This is a hard time, I know it. People are thinking, wondering, and worrying. We're not supposed to really do some of that worrying. And I heard Dolly Parton say not so long ago, we cannot control the wind, but we can adjust our sails. And that's what we're doing now. We're all adjusting our sails to this time in history. But I want to add one thing to what Dolly said, and that is, we can't control the wind, but we know who does control the wind. Alrighty, let's pray. Father, thanks for your love and your care, your provision, the way we know you have this in control. Each person has different feelings and uh, things that are going on in their lives. I pray that you'll just continue to touch them and be with them emotionally and spiritually and help them to do and be the person that you want them to be during this time. Help us to do all that we can to as many as we can. And thank you again, Lord, for it's in your name we pray. Amen.